Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we'll be continuing with the discussion on involutes and the case that I'm going to take up today is when the length of string is less than the circumference. Alright, so let's see what the problem has in store. So here we go. An inelastic string 135 mm long has its one end attached to the circumference of a circular disc of 50 mm diameter. Draw the curve traced out by the other end of the string when it is completely wound around the disc, keeping the string always tight. Alright, so we have an inelastic string. The length of that string has been given as 135 millimeters. It is supposed to be wound around a circular disc of 50 mm dia. Now let's work out what the circumference of this particular disc is going to be. Okay, so it's going to work out as 157.07 millimeters. You can take this as approximately 157 millimeters. Alright. No issues, let's get started with the construction. Let's make a point, let's say that this point represents the center of the circle or it represents the center of the circular disc. So let's have a circle, all right. Let's do four parts of this, all right. So this is 50, the diameter radius is gonna be 25. So we have done the four parts of this circle. Let's make four parts into eight parts. All right, now starting from this point, let's name them one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's say this is eight. All right, moving ahead, we know what the circumference is. So from this point, from this point eight, I'm gonna draw a straight line over here. And the length of this line is gonna be 157.07. That is equivalent to that of the circle's circumference. All right, moving ahead, I'll divide this line into eight equal parts. And for that, I'll draw a line at any suitable angle, this line, and of any suitable length. Now, with a radii of one centimeter, I'll be putting up arcs starting from this particular point as the center. Keep on putting these arcs. That's it. So that's the final eighth arc. And that's the point I'm talking about. Now we're gonna join this point with the end of this line, like this. And we're gonna keep our mini chapters along this line, tighten the screw, move to the seventh point, draw a line. Move to the sixth point, draw a line, keep on doing so until all the points have been exhausted. Now you can name each and every point. Let's say this is one, this is two, three, and so on. That's it, guys. Now the length of the string has been given to us as 135 millimeters. So this over here, this eight parts that we've done does not represent the length of the string. Okay, so it's from this point. I'm gonna make a point over here, mark a point rather. Um, the 135 millimeters away, all right, something like this. So this is 135 millimeters away, this red point you see, and this is what you call point P, all right. So the actual length of the string is starting from this point until we reach here, that is P, okay. Next step is to draw tangent from points one, two, three, four. It's gonna be pretty easy, and if you've seen my previous lectures based on involutes, um, it's, it's a cakewalk, in fact, all right. Let's go ahead, let's have a drafter over here. Keep one scale of a drafter along this line over here, this spoke over here. Uh, so that the other scale is absolutely perpendicular. That's it, draw a line. Try to do this stuff, uh, keep on repeating this stuff for different points. Let's say for two also, we need to do this. Um, let's draw a line, yeah. For three, four, five, six, seven, and you don't need to do anything for point eight. You already have a tangent in the form of this line. All right, let's move ahead. Now, when you try to wound this particular string, 135mm string around this circular disc, you will observe that this one point and this one coincide, okay? Then this much portion from one to P will remain unattached. So what we'll do is we'll take an arc from one to P and with this one as the center, we'll put an arc. So this is gonna be your point P1. Similarly, from two to P, you need to take an arc from with two as center to cut an arc that is P2. Three to P, three as the center, P3. Four to P, four as the center, P4. 5 to P, 5 as the center, P5, 6 to P, 6 as the center, put an arc. So that's P6. All right. Now, guys, you can clearly see that this point P ends before 7, before even reaching point 7. So it's going to end up somewhere here, just before 7. All right. So you don't need to do anything else. This point automatically will qualify somewhere here. Okay. It's an approximation, basically. So we'll have point P. And when you join all these points in sequence, you tend to form a curve which in fact is popularly known as involute. So that's the involute. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them in the best possible way. And if you guys believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, 
then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering in the best possible way guys in the next tutorial i'll be dealing with a rod and we're gonna try to roll that rod over a semicircle and we'll try to see keep a track of the endpoints of that rod until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing